Good evening. Uh, this is Robert Forsh. I wanted to uh, go live right now and present some more flat earth proof. We're looking at uh, flat water as the sun is setting and the moon should be appearing out of the ocean soon. And I wanted to um, go ahead and show you the uh, numbers for the uh, tidal activity here. Let's see. Okay, here we've got uh, where the sun, uh, at 7.36 it'll appear tonight, and that's the sunset. Um, if there's any problem with the sound, uh, please let me know. I'm going to keep comments up on the screen for a while. Um, so if you can't hear me, please uh, make a note. Thanks. Okay, so we're, we're looking directly north now because this is a south-facing beach. Right now I'm facing directly south. And the, the moon should be arriving, should be appearing soon over here. Not sure um, exactly where it's going to be coming up. Uh, so I'm going to focus on the uh, sunset for now and then I'll spin it around when I see the moon show up. This morning I did a live broadcast showing the uh, moon set uh, down over there uh, today. And then I merged the uh, P900 footage along with that. And one of the reasons for hashtagging uh, Flat Earth Proof is um, it's a powerful proclamation that fills a reservoir that people can evaluate and look into. Right over here, straight in the middle of the view, is the Myrtle Beach skyline. I'll take a pic... Uh, here, let me uh, zoom in on it for you. I'll have to get the um, comments out of the way for a moment, uh, but I'll show you this. That's uh, zoomed in 10 times, is what we're uh, seeing here. One of the reasons why we can't see other continents from here is because of moisture in the air, atmospheric lensing that occurs when the, when the sun hits uh, moisture, humidity, haze, fog. And then, of course, out in the ocean, there's rain that's happening, undoubtedly, between here and, and Europe, I would think. What this does too is this establishes a date stamp, a date and time. Uh, water tower in the middle, water seeking its level. That big ball of water up there puts a lot of pressure uh, so when people turn on a faucet to take a shower, wash their car, water their lawn, do their laundry, whatever interaction with water, they'll have uh, pressure there. Okay, notice the hot spot in the middle of the view right there above the cloud. Uh, above the sun, I mean. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes I just need to flip the camera view around to uh, back all the way out. One of the things that should be really obvious, I hope you can see it, is the uh, flatness of the water and how the, um, how the beam of light shoots across there. Now some of what I may end up saying would be a repeat. I'm not uh, forgetting what I said. I may be narrating it for a P900 um, shot. So, to be clear, um, one of the reasons that this is proof is because um, the path that the sun and the moon follow above the face of the earth indicates the movement of the sun and the moon. I'm going to back this up just a little bit, try and insert myself in the shot and keep the, uh, the proper direction of everything. So what we're looking at is the sun and the moon move a course above the face of the earth. That's biblical, that's reality. 
Uh, the spinning, wobbling, gyrating oblate spheroid is science fiction. It is not reality, folks. Just keep in mind, if you uh, get on home and you start turning the channel changer, changer and watching different news programs, thinking you're, you're being well-informed, you're being programmed by a system that wants to present to you a godless cosmic Big Bang. Even the apparent um, entertainment, like situation comedies, will have the globe in their logos. Uh, we're, we're having the globe basically paraded uh, in our lives through corporate logos, uh, media, uh, movies, entertainment, so-called, is, is actually programming. Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, the Jetsons, the remakes of all the science fiction that comes out, it's, it's not reality. Uh, we live in an enclosed system on a level plane with a, a firmament up above the, uh, the, these waters. How high is it? Don't exactly know. Um, you know, there's talk about an ice wall. Uh, take a look right in front of you. Uh, that's the shoreline of South Carolina right here. Where I live is about seven miles over there. That water has no problem stopping right there. God set the boundaries of the water, and uh, we're looking at billions, with a B, billions of dollars of uh, buildings just like this one here and more. And so when I, if you go to my photo album, you can see the perfect symmetry of reflections of this building in undisturbed water. And then when it looks like it's slanted, it's the, it's the beach, the wet sand on the beach. I'm going to pull this ahead a bit further so you can see the uh, rolling waves there. They'll interrupt the, um, the light beam. That's just what they'll do. And they look quite a bit different than the, uh, the beam of light that shoots across the waves breaking on the beach. On my uh, Eternal Perspective video playlist, Eternal Perspective <clears throat> is basically an audio Bible merged with the beauty of creation, giving God the credit for the creation that he made and... Uh, and then the lives that he remakes as well. That's a big deal. I'm, I'm a new creature in Christ. I've got a, a new nature. <clears throat> One of the reasons why I, I struggled with the smorgasbord of sin is because I only had the flesh to try and overcome the, uh, the flesh. It's, uh, it's not, doesn't work. And, and that's what we're supposed to find out. That's part of the dynamic of all this. Now, I can feel the pier moving. And what I'm going to do is uh, zoom in 10 times. And you should be able to see the movement of the pier based on... I'll just uh, take my hands off and you should see the movement there. I'll put the, the pretty sunbeam there in it. But the pier is actually swaying. That's what's going on. And I can feel it. It's easy to feel the, the movement like that. Now, when I'm standing on the... <laughs> hey, thanks so much. I appreciate the encouragement. I just brought some of the comments back up. Hello. <laughs> All right. So what we're looking at here then is, uh, as water reflects a man's face, God's word reflects the man. So when we look at ourselves in the mirror, when I was looking in the mirror, why was I still a drug addict and an alcoholic? Well, the reason is all I had was the flesh, the original equipment. Now that I'm born again, I've got a new nature and a power to overcome the sin that used to totally enslave me. Uh, so why does the shape of the earth matter? Well, the supposed experts at NASA and uh, all of the all of the programming that we're being inundated with is to give us a false reality. A godless cosmic Big Bang, a celestial sneeze. <laughs> it's none of that. It's, uh, it's a creation. All of God's children will absolutely be born of His Spirit at some point in the human experience.
And the, no matter how many of the realities you end up determining, uh, the most important one to realize is have you actually been born of God's Spirit? If you claim to be a Christian, has that happened for you? And I, I really don't have, uh, I can't walk up to somebody and say, yep, you're in. No, you're not. I don't know. It's a bit mysterious because I thought I was born again over 30 years ago until I actually was coming up on four years on Reformation Day or Halloween or Samhain as uh, the Satanists and unknowing participants celebrate. I used to put tracks in uh, buckets of candy along with... Uh, with candy for the children to share the gospel. Now, with um, what, what I get to do, and many of us are doing this, is leveraging social media to share God's word to the ends of the earth around the clock. In my, uh, right now, what I'm using is an iPhone 10 instantaneous worldwide uh, communications, basically. And we can all do that. With 100 subscribers, we can all go live mobile with uh, YouTube. We can subscribe to 100 channels a day. And uh, when we have a maximum of 2,000 subscriptions, then they start falling off when I hand some uh, out. That's kind of how that works. So it's um, kind of a way in YouTube of handing out a friend request. If somebody is hating on me, I'll just subscribe to their channel. A lot of times I'm their only subscriber and they don't have any content. Are they actually a chatbot, the artificial intelligence? On my liked video playlist, what do I cover? <laughs> I cover a lot. The uh, World Central Bank, the military and medical industrial complexes, the drugging of humanity with the food, water, of, of course, atmospheric dispersal. And if you believe the official story of 9-11, then uh, there's another story you're probably going for, maybe going for the globe, believing that that's real too. It's all a lie. <clears throat> Most people, or many people that I meet, are basing their eternal perspective, their eternity, on a lie, unaware of it. Until um, coming up on uh, almost, almost three years ago, I was asked by uh, Nigel Bakes, a, a good friend of mine from Tasmania. He said, um, where's the curve? And I couldn't find the curvature of the earth. I didn't know what he was talking about at first. I was like, Nigel, are you okay over there in Tasmania? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what's going on. We're being presented a false reality. My Sun in the Clouds video on my YouTube channel has only about 2,000 views. The uh, buildings right over here are the buildings that were in the background of that. Uh, because of the different groups and the shares that happened, there were over 14,000 shares in uh, 600,000 views of that particular video where I mentioned uh, that it takes less than a day to hear the entire New Testament. That's a big deal. It's a big deal because uh, it's power to change lives. God's Word is foolishness to those that are perishing and to those that are being made new. It's, uh, it's amazing. Okay, so I've got to go live here with um, the P9. I actually, what I'm doing now for my Facebook audience, I just want to let you know that I am recording with the P900. So some of what I'm going to say, I already said, but I want it to be on this video that's going to be merged with that. Uh, the moon should appear at 7.31 Eastern Standard Time. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up my... Um, my iPod to show you that. The occurrence where the sun apparently is in the midst of the clouds is most likely to occur when it's low on the horizon near sunrise or sunset. And when the sun is high in the sky it's um, much closer, much hotter to the what I've noticed. And where the sun and the moon appear and vanish on the horizon and the duration of visibility between one another cannot be explained by the spinning, wobbling 
uh, rotating oblate spheroid that we don't actually live on. They're just lying. They're lying and I ain't buying. I'm not buying that stuff. So uh, what I'm going to show you here, let me see if I can bring this up. Uh, some of the numbers and I also uh, refreshed it from this morning there we go so we've got a 98 percent moon uh, that should appear soon and just for the record the Facebook uh, viewers right now the Sun definitely looks like it's in the midst of the clouds I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in the camera for you so you can see that going to need to uh, center that a little bit. Okay, and I know that people have a lot of explanations for how it may appear that the sun is in the midst of the clouds. I think um, what, I, what I notice is that um, I don't see any entry point of uh, a 93 million mile away light bulb shooting on us that's a million and a half times the size of the earth they're making this garbage up the the sun is really close I don't know how far away it actually is and I don't know how big it actually is I know that it puts off a warm light and the moon puts off a cool light I've uh, found that to be true with my own infrared thermometer that I use to check that out for myself. And there's videos on YouTube you can check that out. So what I want to establish as well, this um, pier, I'm looking um, towards the Prince Resort that's directly due north and the sun came up uh, right in the middle of the view there and you can see where it's setting now it's not really coming up in the east and setting in the west it's running a course above the face of the earth as well as the moon and that's pretty interesting that's that's one of the obvious proofs that I that I present to you I'm still looking for the uh, moon. I don't see it coming up yet. At 98%, I should be able to see it pretty soon. So on my YouTube channel, you can uh, scroll through the videos. I've got um, almost 700 videos that I've captured myself. Some of the videos are almost 12 hours long showing the activity of the sun and the, the tidal activity, the sun, moon, and tides, and the people that come from all over the world to enjoy this beautiful area. 2018, we were anticipating 20 million guests here in the Grand Strand, uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Absolutely gorgeous. There's definitely a noticeable change in the uh, season right now that's occurring, and it has to do with the movement of the sun. When the sun is lower on the horizon, it's further away and cooler. There are times when the sun and the moon are visible from this vantage point about the same amount, about 12 hours, and then it will vary um, upwards of three hours and the path that the Sun and the moon run is very different so the um, the supposed uh, spinning a thousand thirty eight miles an hour at the equator oblate spheroid it's not happening we don't get our day and night cycle because of a, a moving earth because well the earth doesn't move never has uh, that's biblical. That's reality. 
Uh, the other thing is water covers the face of the earth and it fills the container it's in and it seeks level. Undisturbed water becomes perfectly flat and level. It's the physics and properties of water. If you consider yourself highly educated, consider this question. How much does a gallon of water weigh? Well, that depends. That depends on the temperature because the change of temperature changes density and volume. Cooler water is towards the bottom, the warmer water is towards the top. You can feel it out in the, I feel it out in the ocean when I'm at the beach walking out there. So the whole hydrologic cycle actually powers the electricity, the electrical grid of the world. Whether it's using uh, nuclear reactions to heat up water, creating steam and moving turbines, or coal to do that, or solar to heat up water to make steam, or just uh, water directly moving turbines. For those watching the P900 broadcast, where are all the big solar flares, fireballs shooting off of the sun? It's not happening because it's a small local sun. It's not the science fiction sun that they present on NOVA or on the NASA footage. What about the bubbles in space on the ISS? I got banned from the ISS uh, live feed from time to time when I mention uh, bubbles in space, question mark, hashtag it. Well, because they're, they're actually doing more than uh, practicing in a pool of water, they're recording and then using grease, green screens and, and fancy cinematic cinematography to give people a false reality. Uh, they're, they're not up on the International Space Station I have never, ever seen a satellite go in front of the moon either. And I'm zoomed in really big on the moon and the sun. Never seen any of that kind of activity. Um, I did see uh, some fakery with a supposed ISS, but uh, a U-2 spy plane or whatever went in front of that uh, view. I don't know, it wasn't real. There are stars and wandering stars. Uh, the Book of Jude talks about stars that have left their primary course. There's a reference in Revelation to um, the uh, stars that fell out of heaven. And also stars will be, and those were a reference to angels. And then we also have stars falling to earth in Revelation. How is that going to happen if they're light years away. And we're spinning, wobbling, gyrating, and hurling through space at over a half a million miles an hour. Yet nobody can feel the movement. If you can feel the movement of the earth, go and seek immediate attention, medical assistance. I'm, I'm joking. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't even want to go to the hospital unless I needed to have something sewn up. Uh, so much of the medical treatment in our, in our world today, especially in the United States, is um, accelerating sickness. I, I'm not a fan. It's part of the medical and industrial complex. Death by Medicine is a video that I featured on my uh, liked videos. You can see it if you care to. So somewhere here soon we should have the moon appear and I want to be ready to grab it when, it when it shows up. It's not random at all. It's not like, um, yeah, it's very specific and very um, precision where the sun and the moon appear and vanish. So the sun came up over here today and it'll come up over here later on in the winter and uh, it was coming up way over here in the summer, earlier in the summer. So that's such a variance of where the, the sunrises occur. You can look at <clears throat> my uh, YouTube channel and see that, uh, the many videos that I have that actually show that. 
And I know that some of the videos are really long. You can just use the the scroll button and zoom it back and forth and see it if you care to or or scroll on by like it never even happened. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I'm just wanting to show people, wanting to show you a reality to make your uh, your best choice for your eternal perspective. Where will you spend eternity? And why will you spend it there? That's the big deal. I'll be right back. So one of the other practical uh, things to consider, when I'm out in public like this wearing my Eternal Perspective YouTube shirt, I get new subscribers. People uh, go and check out my channel and sometimes subscribe. Uh, and sometimes I get um, haters that drop in. That's, that's fine too. I don't mind. Actually helps uh, bring views. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for sharing. What I'm going to end up doing with this Facebook um, broadcast is converting it to a YouTube uh, video, and then I'll share it that way. If I go directly live on YouTube, I don't get quite as many uh, views and shares. Uh, like I mentioned with my Local Sun video, it was shared 14,000 times through the Facebook groups. And uh, on my YouTube channel, it's got less than 2,000 views. That just shows the power that we have as individuals that want to expose the truth to our friends and family. Some of them don't want to look into it. I know how that is personally. It's uh, actually really painful to love individuals that I want to be able to help see the reality of the world that we're living in and they don't get it and they're not looking into it. So like I, I mentioned earlier, um, when Joni tells me, that's my wife, when she tells me I'm deceived by Satan about this whole thing, I said, well, show me in the Bible. She won't do it. She can't do it. Nobody can do it. There's a ministry that Ken Ham is a part of, Creation uh, Ministries International. They're uh, associated with Answers in Genesis and, uh, and the Ark. And I'll tell you what, they got it all wrong. We don't live on a globe. We're not going to Mars. That's all a lie. <laughs> and I've got documentaries to back that statement up. So if, what I find so disturbing when there's supposedly a credible supposedly credible ministry, Christian organization that's saying the globe is biblical, as far as I'm concerned, that would be the doctrine of demons. It's not real. I'm certainly not looking for science to validate the Bible. The Bible defends it. The truth absolutely defends itself. I don't need a, a science fiction to try and support uh, the Bible. Finding shark teeth in the desert and pyramids in the bottom of the ocean is enough to let me know that there was a great flood that covered the face of the earth to over the tops of all the mountains. Right now we've got mountains that are over five and a half miles tall that we know about. Uh, there may be some that we don't know about, maybe even taller. But God opened up the floodgates of heaven uh, floodgate is more than rain, and he caused it to start raining. And the fountains of the deep. Three water sources mentioned in Genesis. So when uh, there's detractors or scientists that are saying no rainstorm could cover up the face of the earth in that amount of time, <laughs> it, it was doing raining. You got floodgates and fountains and rain. Just covered everything up. This water is deadly. Kills people every year. Flooding is one of the most um, common ways of 
people dying in natural disasters. Uh, you can look at hurricanes or tsunamis like uh, Fukushima, probably one of the most televised uh, disasters. I, I hesitate to even say natural disaster because there's some suspect uh, potential causes to uh, f the tidal wave that took out the uh, Fukushima, uh, those uh, power plants over there. And there's different things going on in the world people should know about. We ended up having, I met some people right on the beach that uh, came here instead of Florida because of the red tide that was going on there. There's a, an account in scripture where the ocean basically dies, uh, turns to blood. You know, there's um, a lot of life out there in the ocean that's going to perish uh, when, it, when it becomes toxic. So Second Peter talks about that, uh, oh, there's the moon right now. I got it right out there. Can you see it? There it is, folks. Let me, um, I'm going to zoom in tight with my uh, phone here, let you look at that. Okay, I'll try and center it and let you track it. And then I'm zooming in on the P900. It's kind of tough because of all the clouds there. Now, I've seen the moon come up in a lot of different places and set in a lot of different places. And what I would challenge you to do, if you care to, is just pay attention. Where, where do the sun and the moon appear and vanish, especially this time of the year because there's a major seasonal change occurring. Uh, there's a drying effect that's happening for the crops all, all around in North America, getting ready for harvest season. I used to uh, uh, carry buckets of milk on, dairy, on a dairy farm in Wisconsin. Five o'clock in the morning. So what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm <clears throat> just going to uh, want to establish the location. With the P900, I'm turning around so that, uh, oh, I'm gonna wind up my, my cord here. So the sun just sat over there and the moon is coming up directly, almost directly opposite of where the sun just sat. Sure is beautiful. I have a, a video I called Mysterious Moonrise where the moon was coming out of the ocean in a way different location than there. And that was in winter. It was 23 degrees and single digit uh, humidity. It was cold and crisp and it really is interesting. That's a 98% moon right now. And yes, there's sunlight definitely hitting the moon. However, it gives off its own light as well. And you can look through my photo album if you care to. Uh, the moon, when it's uh, looking like this, is definitely round. And to some, it's gonna, they're going to say, well, it's a sphere, just like the Earth. Well, the Earth isn't a sphere, and neither is the moon. Uh, you can see many different phases of the moon on my photo album and see clearly, at least I can, that it's definitely not a sphere. However, um, when it's a full moon or near full, it looks like uh, it's round, of course. So on the Cherry Grove Pier in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is where I am. You can go to the Prince Resort and activate the camera on the pier from a remote location. Somebody else may be looking at the moon right now or the sunset.
And what I've noticed with the moon too is the um, the di during the different phases and the different times of the day, it's uh, it's not just orbiting; it's uh, it's rotating or moving. So it's uh, pretty fascinating to me. That's one of the reasons, if you've ever seen my uh, room, my bedroom at home, what I do is I show the. Um, uh, I've got a lot of mirrors there that let me uh, see where the moon is. Now I, I just want to swing this around and show you this is directly north and the sun just sat right in the middle of the view there. That's uh, Myrtle Beach coastline over there. This is um, really not produced for entertainment. Uh, it's actually like uh, photojournalism. I'm wanting to present evidence basically for you to evaluate. And then there's other videos that just have um, uh, the audio Bible and extended uh, periods of time broadcast that you may enjoy. I'm planning on attending the Flat Earth International Conference in Denver, Colorado. Hope to see some of you there. As well as the Skyfall Conference in Alabama coming up in October. You can go to uh, skyfall.com and see if, uh, if there are any seats left for you to attend, if you care to. One of the advantages with the um, the rather large meetups like that or conferences is meeting so many people from all over the world that are interested in in this topic and apparently have a love for the truth. Those are my kind of people, actually. A lot of people give lip service to loving the truth and, well, it's doubtful if they can look at the evidence that's available and come up with living on a on a globe then I know they're deceived and that's unfortunate there's there's more than missing curvature there's uh, no evidence no uh, photo or video evidence of people hanging upside down in relationship to other people on a globe we don't have real pictures of the earth from space, all we have are computer graphic imagery that's being presented and other trickery, just so you know. A funny thing happened on the way to the moon and astronauts gone wild. Couple videos that I've got on my YouTube channel. My liked uh, playlist has over 1,200 videos. Uh, Powerful documentaries that back up what I'm talking about as well as beautiful relaxing music and uh, okay. video of creation from all over the world. The water is the big clue. Covers the face of the earth, fills the containers it's in, and seeks level. So when I have pictures of water jug tipped and the water inside of it is flat, that's what I'm showing you. And, and one of the reasons why I show the, the toilet water and even mentioned it on the HBO broadcast, we don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. It's just what it does. So whenever you're interacting with water, just pay attention. It just falls. Uh, some people would say, I don't understand gravity. Yeah, I do. It's a deceptive explanation for trying to make this global lie work for the, the liars. The globe exists in the mind of the deceived and the deceivers, just so you know. So I'm unapologetically biblical in all the truth movements that I'm interacting in. 
and some people love that some people hate that uh, so what I'll endeavor to do is what Jesus created me to do and let everybody else deal with their response to that thank you for all the public and private encouragement the likes shares Bible.com and Bible.is are effective resources to hear, share, hear and share God's Word, and also YouTube, Eternal Perspective, for the beauty and majesty of creation, merged with an audio Bible and powerful documentaries. So what I'm going to do here now, I finished my uh, P900 broadcast or uh, recording, and I'll, I'll just show you uh, one of the zoomed-in shots of the moon. Yeah, uh, it's really losing the clarity there. Um, you can see shots that I just put up on my Facebook uh, this morning if you care to. Ah, can you see the uh, moonlight on the water now? How about that? That's going to be more and more visible as the um, as the sun moves away from this perspective. I want to make sure I've got a real clear lens here so you can see that. So the short answer uh, to the shape of the earth and, and all the other actual conspiracies is the truth matters. I used to be an atheist and I was clinging to the scientific explanation of the world that we live in that um, left God out of the explanation intentionally. So I'm convinced, as I mention quite often, that it's only by God's grace that anybody can believe the truth, let alone find it. What we're dealing with is uh, a deception that's so powerful that, if possible, would deceive even the elect. Well, that's not going to happen. The elect will not be deceived. So uh, one of the important things to consider, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says perpetually, to all of creation, they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So um, Satan will use who and what he can, and God uses it all. The God who created this world uh, basically cast Satan out of heaven along with a third of the angels, and Satan ended up in the Garden of Eden to create the need for the redemption that God would provide in the person of, of the Messiah, Christ, the embodiment of the Word, the way, the truth, and the life, the great I Am, the Alpha and the Omega. So I'm just spinning right around to show you that uh, that's where the sun sat. Okay, this is facing directly north. I'm going to spin around and show us directly south. And there you have it. Now tomorrow morning uh, from we should have a very interesting sunrise and moonset. And I should be able to catch that from the pier here out at the end. I couldn't um, uh, capture it from the end of the pier 
uh, this morning uh, because of timing and when the pier opened up. So what I'm going to do is uh, end the broadcast, head on home, uh, download, upload, uh, and then uh, get a little rest so I'm ready to go in the morning. Thanks so much for your public and private encouragement. Feel free to check out Eternal Perspective, uh, my YouTube channel. Thanks again.